let us continue discussing about joins already we have seen what inner join is uh, if you look at the description of join it also says that outer joins are supported through left outer join right outer join and full outer join left outer join and right outer join are same uh, it's only based on the direction of the data sets we are trying to join but uh, meaning why both are same left outer join and right outer join gives us the same information uh, whereas full outer join is a bit different uh, and it is typically used when there is many to many relationship between two data sets left outer join and right outer join can be used or it makes sense only when we have one to many relationship many to many typically we use full outer join okay so now let me uh, go to the sublime text and let us define the problem statement get all the orders which do not have corresponding entries in order items okay so this is the problem statement and this can be achieved using left order join we need orders and order items the way we have seen uh, um, earlier first we need to read orders and order items now i just need everything from orders uh, if the corresponding entry is not available in order items for that reason instead of just extracting uh, order id and date i will extract order id as key and i will pass the complete record as value so i'm pasting the sort of map logic from the earlier uh, uh, earlier code and here instead of returning only the date i am actually saying return order same is the case with the order items here i want order item okay so you can see that we are getting order id as key for both the data sets okay so typically uh, the outer join will be performed uh, on the table from which we want to get the data whether there is a corresponding record in the other data set or not okay and that happens uh, only with uh, uh, parent table um, in case of tables having one to many relationship so orders and order items have one to many relationship there for each and every order item record uh, in this case we'll have one order id for sure but for each and every order id in the parent table there might not be order items in the child table okay hence we can actually do outer join from orders to order items if order is on the left side it is left order join if order is on the right side it is right order join that's the only thing which you need to understand so now let us say val orders left outer join as we are trying to use left outer join orders has to be on the left side and then left outer join of order items map not orders orders map now let me copy this three lines of code of uh, these three code snippets so if you look at orders map dot take of 10 dot for each println you can see this is order id and this is the record from orders similarly order items map dot take of 10 for each println you can see okay this is order id but here we are getting the array which is not uh, exactly the thing which we are looking for so there is a bug in our code in this case i want to get order item itself not uh, the array after splitting okay so i am copy pasting this again 
that's why it is very important to validate after each and every step even though i am doing this for quite some time i lost the track of it and i made this mistake now if i look at the data now it it makes sense this is order item already sorry yeah order item already which is extracted from this which is nothing but second field in the order items after delimiting uh, after splitting by delimiter comma and this is the order item record which we got now let me run this as we have uh, ran um, this again uh, this again we have to rerun this also otherwise the order left out join will be pointing to the old one and paste and now if i say orders left outer join dot take off 10 for each print LM and hit enter you can see the data okay so this is order ID this is the record from orders the first element in the nested tuple after left order join is from orders on which left order join is performed and the second element is of type sum okay the, it is sum because if there is a matching criteria you will see this if if you if there is no matching criteria you will not see that that's why it will be either sum or none sum or none is special type of uh, representation um, when the uh, data present uh, data presence is, is not sure in scala so instead of just seeing 10, let us see 100 records now. You can see most of the records have some, but there are some records where there is a none also. None is a special type where it says that there is nothing in the data set. So if, whenever you are unsure whether um, a, a particular element will be present or not in a collection, then you have to treat it as some or none to easily um, process the data, okay? So now our requirement is, we are not done yet with, uh, with the problem statement. We are done with left auto join, but our uh, requirement is get all the orders which do not have corresponding entries in order items. So from all these records, I just need to extract these records. I can ignore the rest of this stuff. So as we are trying to, um extract subset of data here we need to use filter api after left auto join to get only uh, those records which does not have corresponding order item data okay and the way it can be done is by using out of join let me fix this I'm rerunning it again because there was a um, join was smaller earlier. Now I made it uh, a camel case. Okay, map of filter equal to orders left auto join dot filter. And then you can say order. And now you need to understand how to extract this information to compare with none okay so it is a tuple so let's say val t equal to copy paste dot first so i'm only um, extracting one record uh, from the collection and t is of type tuple you can see the first element is of type integer Second element is of type tuple. And in that tuple, first element is of type string, which is from orders. Second element might or might not present. That's why it is represented as option of string. Okay. Now, if I want to compare this, we have to use the tuple notation. And the way you can read elements from the tuple, which I have covered already as part of Scala fundamentals, is by saying t dot underscore notation underscore one will give the order id underscore two will give the entire tuple 
in this case this this portion you can see it here t dot underscore two is nothing but tuple and if i have to extract this one then i just have to say t dot underscore two dot underscore two and then you got sum if you want to if the data type of it is option if you want to compare with none you just have to say t dot underscore two dot underscore two equal to none and then because there is some it written false if it is none it will return true so this is how you can write the logic so here i can say order dot underscore two dot underscore two equal to none and now let us copy this one and paste okay now you can say orders left order and filter take off 10 for each println and you will get only the none records you can also say the count so there are 11452 records out of 68,883 records or 11,452 orders out of 68,883 orders, which does not have corresponding order item in our data set. Now, typically if you understand um, how to present the data, we should not present in the form of tuples after processing the data. We, we have to as per our problem statement, we just have to get orders details where there is no corresponding order item. So I'm just interested in this portion. I don't need anything else. So for each input record of type tuple, I need to extract this part, discarding the rest of the stuff. So in this case, we have to use map. So finally, you can say val orders with no order item equal to dot map order order dot underscore two will give the tuple where you have order record and also sum or none or option so here I have to say order dot underscore two dot underscore one where I will get the details of orders where there is no corresponding order item. Now if I paste it here and then orders with no order item dot take off ten for each print element. and previewing the data and hit enter. Now you can see we got the details about orders where there are no corresponding order items. So this is how you have to implement end-to-end -end functionality for our problem statement. In this video, we not only see the left order join, but also the combination of map, left order join, filter, and again map to get the data. So what you need to understand is, to implement any problem statement, we might have to um, um, use multiple APIs to get the final desired output. There is no one magic bullet for each of the problem statement. Each problem statement can be solved by using multiple APIs. Okay, so uh, when it comes to write auto join, instead of keeping orders map uh, here, if you want to keep it here. Then you can say order items map dot write order join of orders map, in which case okay, if you do write order join. Well, orders with no order item equal to 
write out join dot filter order implies in this case order dot underscore two dot underscore one will be from order items and order dot underscore two dot underscore two will be from orders so here i should say none and then map order order dot underscore two dot underscore two because the order of elements in the tuples are changed and now if you actually say take off 10 dot for each print ln and let us run this so there is a typo somewhere okay i didn't copy it properly v is missing and you can see the data the same way as we have seen earlier only because we are using right order join we have changed the uh, order of accessing the elements okay so left order join and right order join can be used when there is one to many relationship if you have many to many relationship and if you want to get data which is present um, uh, matching the join condition and also uh, data from both the data sets uh, which are exclusively present in those data sets themselves then you, you you use full auto join full auto join is nothing but left auto join union right auto join and for that we need to have uh, uh, m by n relationship in the data set to actually see see in, see it in action as i don't have that data set at this time i'm not demonstrating full order join but if you have it is very easy to explore just uh, from the full order join to view the data and then you uh, you write the necessary logic either by using filter or map after performing the join 